Hello my friends, it's PFC Irish Goofy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, which means it's time for a furry Friday. More fursuits, more a few arts, a few artists uh, renderings of personas. Always a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Before we get too deep in this video, I must say, I have to say, if you're new to this channel, please please consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Because when I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. For a chance to be entered in for a chance to win, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave comments on any video you see of mine. If you like and leave comments on multiple videos, that will be multiple entries. But you have to be subscribed first. So with all that being said, Let's get into some furry fun. Here we start off with one of my favorite mythological mythological creatures, the dragon. Ah, uh, the dragon, powerful, fire breathing, and in this case, a whole lot of fun, <laughs> entertaining people of all ages at a looks like to be a Renaissance fair. Nothing's funner. I've never been to a Renaissance fair myself. I will go one day. Just haven't been. I just haven't made it to one yet. Plus, I don't know where there's one around me. I know where it was back when I used to live back in Texas, but right now, where I live now, there's not much around. I'd have to drive probably two hours to find something like that. But hey, I will make it one day. Ah, uh, the newcomer to the Reddit uh, community. Welcome. I've actually, this guy's actually said, yeah, I can go to his YouTube, his uh, Twitter, and use other photos he has just to tell him what I'm looking for. I told him anything that shows furries having fun. That's what this video needs to be. Furries having fun. Because furries, like everybody else, are just as important. They make this world worth, what makes this place, this world, entertaining. And more entertaining, love in a fun way, not a hysterical, oh my god way, a fun way, the better. <laughs> so, you're having fun any way you want to have fun, that's what makes the world better. So be kind to others, have fun, and be who you are. Be who you want to be, be who you are, be true to yourself. <laughs> ah, after a fun night partying, You've got to rest somewhere. <laughs> Why not do it on public transportation? Maybe you've had too much fun. Maybe you had a little too much to drink. Either way, public transportation is there. Use it. And I think this one is... Yeah, I want to say this is out in Europe. Probably England. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me. Oh, man. Looks like they're slightly bored. Especially that one with his head down. Looks like he's holding his head. I'm, I can't really tell. But the way the blue guy is sitting, squatting down like that, I can't do that for very long myself. I did it when I worked at Disney. My god, my feet hurt getting back up to walk. <laughs> I hate getting down like that myself. If I'm there, if I'm down long, longer than like two minutes, if I'm like that more than two minutes, ooh, I'm done. <laughs> but but I'm talking about when you don't have something to lean up against. This person clearly has something to lean up against. I do like the light in the side of that. That is very awesome. <laughs> the whole thing is lit up. Okay, I just noticed that. I like the ones that have... If you're going to go with one that lights up, do one that has facial expressions. It's always fun. Especially if you can change them as you want. Always fun. What is with the eye cover is my, is my question. I don't understand why that is covered. Uh... Making a statement, did you actually hurt your eye? Did the eye actually get damaged somehow? I want to know the backstory on that. <sighs> ah. Artwork by the poster. I left the poster's name on there so you could see it. Let's see. Dragon. I want to say dragon again. <laughs> I'm not 100% on that, but it looks like two dragons, a raccoon, and a fox. 
having a backyard party always fun <laughs> I've been to a couple backyard parties not as nice as that one because it's got the lights going across the backyard parties that I went to the only light we had was the light that the people had out in the backyard that's all we had that and the street lights <laughs> oh man high school <laughs> oh man tons of fun got to an early Christmas present Putting it to use, the furry is busy. Busy. Ooh. -woo. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. The ooh. -woo, Cause I know there's an ooh -woo and a you ooh, ooh, ooh and stuff. <laughs> uh, honestly, I uh, they've explained. I've been explained to in comments how how it work. How what's the meaning behind it? I kind of understand. It was going to be used for pretty much anything. Uh, but. Until I hear, actually hear someone uh, using it in a sentence. I probably won't tr truly understand it. Even then. I probably won't. <laughs> but hey. It's fun to say. Ooh woo. <laughs> Small Christmas portrait I made. Of course, I left the person's on person's name on there because, well, I like to give credit to the artist when I can. Now, this looks like a very friendly. Oh, what is that creature's name? <laughs> it, he's the opposite of Santa. Uh, Krumpus. Looks like a very friendly Krumpus almost. <laughs> uh, I know it's not the case, but uh, I want to say. Cow bull? I'm probably wrong. It's probably. I'm not sure where to go with that. <laughs> uh, if you know which. What is this person's persona? Please let me know. I'm always trying to. See, this is one of the things why. I'm not part of your community, but I like. Uh, finding stuff out about your communities. That's what I do. <laughs> It's what more people should do. Find out about the communities. Find, get more understanding. This way we're not guessing all the time. And we make we have a better understanding. That's what I do anyway. Because, well, I believe we should all understand one another. So, hatred won't can't survive. <laughs> I found one with the artist's name. Remembering the summer days. <laughs> Uh, for most of us, remember summer days is all we can do right now because it's co getting cold out there. Oh, wonderful sundress. Wonderful dog. I'm 99% sure she's a dog right now. If I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> but I'm 99% sure uh, she's a dog. <laughs> if she identifies as she, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just guessing here. <laughs> Oh man, blonde hair. Mm. Would you say that's peach colored skin? Peach color covered colored fur. <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful picture though. Beautiful. See what I mean by he's getting cold outside? There's snow everywhere. <laughs> Someone from my college made a furry snowman well isn't that great you should start looking for that person they could be someone who is part of this community part of your furry community and y'all can be friends which is great finding people who have in same interests as you do always a fun thing to do always a great way uh, to make new friends finding people who have common interest is greatest thing uh, that's better than the snowman the snowman I built last year way better I did a snowman it was basically you know how you build a volcano with sand with dry sand that's basically what my, what my snowman looked like he had no curves he was just a straight line he was a pyramid type thing not a pyramid scheme, but a pyramid type thing. I say type thing because it was not a good pyramid. I, I tried to give him two eyes, 
tried to dig out a nose and a mouth, tried to stick some twigs in his in the sockets to give him some arms. It was a nice effort. Being that I'm from Texas and I don't see snow, but see when I live in Texas once every six or seven years, <laughs> I did an okay job. Might do a better one when we get snow coming in January, I want to say. Honestly, we have not had a lot of snow where I'm at right now. Compared to last year, we're actually down on snow. Now this is what I like to see. Furries hanging out and just having a good old time. <laughs> uh, is that a, at a convention? A mall? Or an airport? It looks like it might even be. Could be a convention there, could be an airport. Well, there are the little, looks like line thing you so. Convention hall, airport, or mall does make sense. Oh, let's see, two. I want to say foxes. I could be wrong. I want to say two foxes, hanging out and just having a good old time. This is the type of furry stuff I want to start showcasing all my videos. But, due to how rare these are to find, I, when I get them, when I see them, even if it's not the day I'm making the video, I will make the snip, drop it in my folder, and it will be there for when I make my video. Try the best I can to mainly do fursuits because fursuit Friday. <laughs> uh, Y'all can help me out if you want. You can post more fursuits on the subreddit or you can go to my subreddit r slash irish goofy and post there anyway always tons of fun i can't wait till january i'm going to be doing the best of series which is going to be pretty much any uh, subreddit i've covered this year except for halloween because i've already did that one best of 2019 i'm going to start doing posting those in january i'm going to start working on them Whew. later this month <laughs> Probably I'm traveling when I'm probably not going to be posting any vi uh, very many videos I'm going to post when I can. But I won't, probably won't, I know I won't be doing live streams, so Thursday there'll be no videos. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's so close of being done. But I have to go to work. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, leaving stuff unfinished can be a little bit of a bother, but you have to work. <laughs> He'll still be there when you get back, and you'll be able to complete him, and he's gonna look fantastic, I'm sure. Uh, if this is your post, please post the finish, him being finished on my subreddit, please. Or shush, shush, goofy. I want to see how he looks, and then I can add him into the video into one of my upcoming videos I really let love to see when the fur when you're done working on your fursuits I love to see how they look I mean it's one of the top reasons why I go on uh, r slash fur anyway <laughs> is to see the wonderful artwork and the wonderful work that y'all do when y'all to make y'all's fursuits it is amazing the talent y'all have I don't have anywhere close to that talent or the patience. That's <laughs> probably why I joined the military. <laughs> ah, this is a twofer. Renaissance fair, I believe. And furries having fun. Nothing's better than that. Okay, the eye those eyes are almost the eyes are on the lady. The one in the dress. Uh Almost looks like they're the hypnotizing twirly ones, which is not the case. I, when I look at it long enough, I can see that they're all they're all uh, individual lines. But it almost looks like, at a glance, unless you stare at it for a little couple of minutes, not even at a glance, looks like she's trying to hypnotize you with her eyes. <laughs> that is fun. I find that fun. I want to say fa uh, wolf and I want to say dog I'm not sure what to breed of dog but take your choice <laughs> wolf 
There's different types of breeds, Wolf. Take your choice. <laughs> Always fun to see them having fun. Makes me happy. Like alcohol does. But I'm not drinking tonight. <laughs> Come on, I'm in the military. You knew this one was coming. <laughs> this is engineering at its finest. This is this person's old artwork, I believe. Uh, if it's not, please... If you posted this, your name's up there. Uh, please tell us who did po didn't make this, but I'm pretty sure it's yours. <laughs> uh, the tank, the tank wolf, the wolf tank. <laughs> oh, wolf tank, that's a good one. I dub this the wolf tank. Feel free to use it. I don't care. <laughs> uh, the name. I'm saying it to the poster or to the original artist, not for everybody to use the art as their own, because that wouldn't be right. <laughs> but I do love this. I do appreciate it. That would be a f an interesting tank, though. Walks like an AT-AT and shoots like an AT-AT in a tank. <laughs> that would be interesting to see. <laughs> Nice costume. I'm going with most likely handmade. Love, love the uh, artisticness you, the artistic style you used. Very different than you see most furries go with. But hey, if that is what you want, that is what you go for. Woofy. <laughs> uh, I do like the one with uh, with the vein pulsing in the the the, the head. I'm guessing that's crying, and I'm guessing that's just being crazy fun. <laughs> Best type of fun is you're always crazy fun because it's always spontaneous. <laughs> now this one I had to get pause. I had to do the snip while I paused the video because this was just too good not to have in here. Do you like cookies? Almost everybody likes cookies. The great thing about cookies is that there is a cookie for everyone you're allergic to wheat get a gluten-free cookie you don't want eggs there's vegan cookies there's chocolate cookies vanilla cookies there's a cookie for everybody the world should be more like cookies there the world is a lot like cookies there's a group for everybody also the world should be like cookies in a different way like how you buy them at the store be together be different, but together is <laughs> the best way to be. Meanwhile, about this, I want to say bull. No, cow. There's no horns. I want to say cow. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but looks like a male cow, which also is why I want to keep saying bull because looks rather muscular for a cow. <laughs> Uh, I said it only because cows do tend to look uh, less muscular than bulls. If you've never seen a cow or a bull and you ever thought about it, I have. Uh, I took ag in high school and we had an ag farm with cows and bulls. You could tell which ones were cows and which ones were bulls pretty easily. <laughs> well, let's move on though. <laughs> this just proves. Disney has been advocating for furries for years, all the way back to Bambi. Bambi came out in the 19, I want to say 50s, 55 years, This that's probably in the early 2000s when the switchover was happening. So yeah, I want to say uh, in the 50s, could be the 40s, but I'm not 100% sure. Or, no, so it came out in the 40s, so Bambi would be the 50s. 50 to 60, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this one has Bambi, Lion King, and Fox and the Hound. And Disney has been giving the idea of animals having human attributes for years. Look at the Jungle Book. Look at pretty much anything Disney animated with animals. Except for Frozen because the reindeer actually doesn't speak. Kristoff just speaks for him. <laughs> uh, 
I've not seen the new Frozen movie. I saw Frozen 1. Because it was being shown, it was poolside, I was working at Disney, that's all I saw Frozen. I did not pay to see it. I was not living at home at the time, so I didn't get annoyed by my nieces and nephews singing it. I let it go. All you parents out there who who got through that song, now we have another one for you. Into the Unknown. Sung by Panic at the Disco. I don't know what it is about Disney, but Disney is trying to include uh, mainstream musicians doing the top songs from the movies, which uh, Into the Unknown is the current Frozen one. Uh, Let It Go was the first Frozen one. I That was actually sung by a Disney star. I forget which one, though. Was it sung by Disney star or someone else? I don't know. But Disney did use their stars, and now they're switching over into the mainstream to help bring in more fans, which Disney took a hit on their stocks recently because, well, they're not actually doing too much to the parks. And I think what's kind of hurt them with Star Wars is kind of the Return of the Jedi movie. They should have gone with George Lucas's suggestions. He's there. He tells them, let me help you make Star Wars. They finally let him in for this for the recent movie, for the new movie that comes out uh, the 20th or the 22nd. I forget which one it is. Yes, I'm a Star Wars kind of nerd. Ooh, Chewbacca. <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't think anybody's done that yet. Hmm. The fur would be too hard to keep clean. <laughs> Now that brings us to the end of the video. Let's keep relaxing along with the fire, with this beautiful fire that I have on the screen right now. Uh, I mean, I do make jokes about the fire burning off stuff, but that's for the crazy stuff. The uh, just look through my videos, you'll find that you'll know which ones are crazy. <laughs> but let the fire bring us together for stories like they've done. For a for a few millennia now. Well, that's my salute to uh, Illuminations at Epcot. Love the show. Sad that it's gone, but hoping Disney doesn't mess it up. They had a, such a great show with that one. I'm hoping the new one, because Epcot's my favorite park, that they do something extravagant as good or better than Illuminations because Illumination Reflections Earth, that's a hard one to live up to. Magic Kingdom had three different fireworks show, th shows through the life of Illuminations. I forget what the one was before Wishes, then Wishes, and now the new one. Which started uh, about a year before, then, before uh, Illuminations ended. But Illuminations, that park was so crowded on the last day I hear. The park could have easily reached capacity if everybody who wanted to be there was there for the final showing. I wanted to be there. I couldn't because I wasn't even in the United States at the time. But hey, <laughs> uh, when you gotta travel, you gotta travel. <laughs> but all that being said, remember like, subscribe, and leave a comment so you can be entered in for the chance to win the $25 Amazon gift card. Also... As I say at the end of all my videos, stay safe, my friends.